Cameron talking about uh, teeth whitening today. I guess a, a legitimate question would be, is this for everybody? Is it safe for everybody? Does it, you know, all these questions that people would have, if I go and have it done, is it going to hurt? You know, if I have sensitive teeth, can I do it? Who's going to benefit from this? Right, so first, is it safe? Yes, if done in the right way, okay. as prescribed. Okay. Is it for everybody? No. Okay, so the people that won't want to whiten are someone who has disease in the mouth. Okay, if they've got cavities, if they've got any issues that aren't resolved yet, whitening can cause problems and it can cause some serious pain. Okay, now whitening in general, anyone that's done it knows, it'll make your teeth sensitive. Okay, some people not at all, other people extremely. So it's not without consequence, but it does not damage your teeth. Okay, okay but if I, if, right. Okay, yeah. Okay. So what I'm thinking is this is probably not a good DIY project <laughs> for people to be trying to do this at home could be a little bit risky. Yeah, I mean, I think if you're trying to do things on your own at home, you probably want to stick things that don't deal with your body. Yeah. Okay, because yeah, that because things can go wrong and you want to make sure and that's not to say things don't ever go wrong when when we're helping you, but right. we're here and we know how to handle that if it does okay. and how to how to instruct you and, and improve the situation. So you definitely want to get help. You want you want your dentist involved okay. to make sure that it's done safely so that it's sustainable too. So you can keep them nice and bright without any of the undesired consequences that can happen. Okay. So um, if you have really, really sensitive teeth anyway, you're not going to want to do this. Definitely not without talking to your dentist, okay, because it will have consequences. People with sensitive teeth can get them whitened. It just may be more of something they want to do in the office where we can control things. Sensitivities caused by different reasons. It may be your gums are receded. We can help protect that when we whiten okay. so that it's not as uncomfortable. I don't think anyone with sensitive teeth is going to get out of this without some more sensitivity, okay? okay? That's just the honest way to say it. But you want to be careful. What about um, people's expectations? Do have people have realistic expectations with their teeth or do they come in a bit, you know, oh, I want all this and give it to me now? <laughs> yeah, I think we're used to the magazines a lot yeah. where frankly a lot of it's photoshopped. Right. So I tell people I'm not a big fan of toilet bowl white. Okay, I mean, it's just, I, it doesn't look natural. Some people want that, and we'll help someone get there if that's what they want. But to get there from, for the 78-year-old male with really dark yellow teeth, uh, that's probably not a realistic expectation. Yeah. Or if someone comes in and their, their smile's already shining, yeah. are you going to get a lot of improvement there? Well, they're already bright white, so yeah. we're going to be pushed to make them any whiter than that. Yeah. So you have to have a realistic expectation for what... Um, they can do here. Um, now talking about buying it at the store, you can just go into any store and buy a box. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be as safe as coming to you? Well, it can be safe if it's used the right way. The, the main problem I see with when people buy it at the store is they're trying to get the same results they can get with a professional whitening with the box. And so typically it's overused. And when you don't follow directions, now all that stuff is tested by the companies that make it to be safe right. when you follow their directions. Right. But when you go beyond what they prescribed it for, there are situations where you can actually harm your teeth. You, you can damage them permanently if you're not careful. So can you do it? Yes. But at least ask your dentist. Yeah. Let them know what you're doing and make sure you get some instructions so you don't hurt yourself or don't go beyond what the box says. Okay. So can you do it? Yes. Should you? Probably not. Probably you should just come in and see you. At least come in and see your dentist and come see us. Let us clean your teeth and let you know what's safe and what's expected for you. Okay. And then if, if you're just, you, you, you want to save the money and you don't want, you don't want to spend 100, you want to spend 40, that's fine. But let us tell you the right way to do it. Okay. And if you just really wanted to be as white as can be, then let us help you because we can help you do that safely yes. and without too much hopefully discomfort because we all know we have a little bit of discomfort at the dentist sometimes no. there's really no need for it if they come and see you to whiten the teeth because after all they are dealing with bleach mm -hmm. it really does need to be a safe procedure doesn't it yeah I mean it's, it's a peroxide we all know what happens if you spill peroxide on your clothes right it's yeah. going to change the color like it it's an active ingredient so we want to use it safely we want to use it correctly okay. so that's that's the biggest point I want to make as far as safety is it's safe if you follow the directions. Okay. If you taste it, 
it's not good, okay? You're not supposed to taste anything that's whitening your teeth. That's one of the big drawbacks of some of the stuff at the store is right. it's it's not fit to your teeth, so it will leak. It does leak. And that's why they're also weaker, because they know it's going to leak, and you're going to taste it, so that it can't hurt you, right. so it has to be weaker. Okay. Okay, so there, there's, there's give and take in anything. Yeah. You just got to know what you're getting into. Right. But it really does sound that safest overall is to come and see you and your colleagues here at Aspen Dental. Tell us where you are Dr. Cameron. So we're right across from the Cache Valley Mall, right across 1400 North on the on the corner there in that clock tower building on the south end. So if you want your teeth whitening, this is the guy to come and see. Thanks Dr. Cameron.